Force position method or regular foci method is another numerical method in finding the roots of a nonlinear equation system or estimating the roots of a polynomial function of x. This method was being developed because the approach of bisection method shows relatively inefficient because it converges at a fairly slow speed. So the objective in using false position method or regular foci method is to make convergence faster by using trial and error technique. This technique uses an initial test value of x or an initial false values of x and then adjust these initial values according to the results. This is also referred to as guess and check method. If this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis and this is the function of x which is also equal to y if the lower guess value of x is at this point let's say a and the upper guess value of x let's say at this point it is b the coordinate of this point in our function is a f a and here we have B B F B If we are going to draw or join these points A F A and B F B with a straight line the straight line crosses the x axis this point will be our C at a position of C O in the graph. This represents an improved estimate of root. To find the value of C, we have two equations of the slope M using similar triangles. So our first triangle, we assume this is our first triangle and this is also our second triangle from the graph we can derive the equation of the slope for the first equation we will use points a f a and points b f b so from the equation slope is equal to the change of y over change of x so from the graph we have here points FB minus points FA divided by B minus A. And this will be our equation 1. So I have to move this and this will be our equation 1. For the second equation, we will use point C O and B F B. So our second equation now will be M. So we have F B minus zero divided by B minus C. So B minus C. So, this will be our equation 2. Next is to equate equation 1 and 2. We have FB minus FA divided by B minus A equal to FB minus 0 divided by B minus C. We can cross multiply these equations and since... Our objective here is to determine the value of C. So we have now B minus C is equal to 
FB times B minus A divided by FB minus FA. So, our equation for C will be B minus FB times B minus A divided by FB minus FA. So, this is our equations now and getting the value of C to find the fruit of our function of X. The same with the bisection method. The first position method or the regular foci method have three possibilities in finding the location of the root in the function between the guess value of x between the lower guess value of x and the upper value or the upper guess value of x these are the following if f a and f c have an opposite signs the root lies between a and c if f c and f b have an opposite signs the root lies between C and B. If FC is equal to 0, then you found the root where the root is equal to C. Okay, let's have this illustration. If this is your function of X, which is also equal to Y, and this is the location of your A, FA, and this is also the location of your B, F, B. Using first position method or regular Poisson method, we will connect these two points with a straight line. In the iteration process, we have here the value of C, K, as K as the number of iterations. And here if we have to extend this this will be your function ck since your function ck and function bk have opposite signs so the root lies between c and b so again if we are going to connect this point to this point for the next iteration, this will be CK plus 1, and this is your FCK plus 1. Then, for the next iteration, you have to draw again a straight line connecting this point. So, this value will be CK plus 2, and here, this is FCK plus 2 until it will converge into the root of the function where the root is equal to c and fc is equal to zero so this is how the first position method or the regular for sign method in our iteration process so i hope you understand this lecture and thank you for watching this video thank you and god bless